So some very exciting games coming up, as I was about to say. Um, one person who won't be uh, involved in those very exciting games, unless he's on the telly, is uh, Tommy Makinson, who... Uh, Liam Watts has not had a great run, has he? Almost like chopped his arm off with a saw or whatever he did. Uh, and now he's... Uh, well, he's at the check and make sure they're both still there after uh, Makinson grabbed his testicles. I think we can what? say that. Grade F. What an idiot. <laughs> Tommy what? the Squirrel Makinson. Just what an idiot. What an I idiot. Mean, yeah. You you got to see a lot more of it probably in close up and gory replay on the television than at the ground. You see a player placed on report and immediately going, "Did anybody see anything?" So we, it wasn't immediately obvious what had happened. So the 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 first thing you think when you when you realise what it is that's been put on report is was there real provocation you know was he in a chokehold and he felt that the only way he could raise the attention of his potential assailant was to go for his most sensitive part and the more you see the um the replays of it 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 doesn't appear as though there was a reason to do it other than he thought he was out in the fields picking grapes or something i don't i don't know well you know you can watch the the replays on social media and they're slowed down and they're made to look a little bit worse and stuff but they're not he did what he did like oh, what was he thinking and and i get it like in times of frustration sometimes you do stupid things like we saw them you know blake austin stick his foot out or whatever uh when he lost the ball yeah it's a time of frustration and there's a there's an element where i can kind of go mm, i understand but also uh, you're an idiot you're an absolute idiot because not only do you look an idiot for doing that and the various stick he's going to get from that let's be fair for the rest of the season if not later on in in years to come but also you know it's on film you know it's being filmed you know you're live on tv and also it's just i'm a huge into sportsmanship and i just think you if you've been tackled fair and square or whatever, just take it. It's part of the game. You're going to get tackled. You're going to lose a ball. You're going to have try scored against you. Take it. And if you don't like it, don't play the sport. You are an absolute idiot for lashing out like that. And he, he's going to get a huge ban. It's going to affect them. And, yeah, they've got enough on the, on the bench and some youngsters coming through. But he is one of their class players. So impact on that now isn't – I'm idiot. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> I'm not sure you can use the word tackled anymore either. Oh, well, there we go as well. See, it's just going to be innuendo after innuendo for months to come. The great thing is that it produced some fantastic publicity for the sport. It yeah. was everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so well done, Tommy, in, uh, in raising the profile of the sport. Enjoy it while you sit on your bum for six weeks. Yeah, I hope people, because no doubt people have seen the clip that Gary Carter tweeted out. I hope people enjoyed the additional commentary on that clip. I don't know who he is, but Sky should sign him up. Um, <laughs> described on the BBC as a low grab. Low grab. Low hanging fruit. Yeah. I mean, well, I, I don't I, no, I, I'm, I, I don't know what to say anymore um, for fear of trivialising this. This doesn't go on in the women's game, obviously, does it, Danica? Uh, I mean, no, because <laughs> that's not part of our uh, genetics. Um, but no, like, I think the worst thing we have is hair pulling. Hair pulling. I, honest, honestly, I know that people might not think that, but when you're running and somebody pulls your hair at pace, it not only hurts your, your head where your hair is, but it's like getting whip, major whiplash. <laughs> so that's the only only thing that I think is really comparable. Um I've been once accidentally stood on when I was playing rugby union over a rook. Well, that's the whole sport, though, of rugby union. That's just yeah. Up. But apart from that, I think hair pulling, and and that's really difficult. If you've got a girl with long hair and you tackle them a little bit higher than normal, it looks like you're pulling the hair. But when somebody like I got, and it wasn't me, I think it was it was Courtney, I think, in one of the it was Castleford, and somebody just saw her hair and grabbed it, and her head flew. But then we, nobody got called up for it because obviously, as you well know, no, we, there wasn't much of in the way of women's match reviews then. You, you've mentioned it now, and that means you know you'll you'll get all the people slagging you off again for you know 
I'm here all week, guys. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs>